For five generations, my family has farmed the same land in Colorado San Luis Valley, 250 miles from here. Together, my parents raised eight children on our farm. We were poor but rich in spirit, and all eight of us became first-generation college graduates. My parents gave to us the Covenant of America, the covenant that binds us together as one nation, that no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, anything is possible in our America. Just 500 miles southeast of here, in El Dorado, Kansas, another mother instilled that same dream in her son, Barack Obama. Barack Obama's grandfather defended that dream as a soldier in General Patton's army. Barack Obama's father followed that dream to an America of freedom and opportunity. For Barack Obama, that dream runs deep in his soul. But for the last eight years, for the last eight years under the failed policies of George Bush, the American dream has been sleep slipping away. For too many American families, no matter how hard you work, how hard you try, you just can't get ahead. The White House has turned its back on you. The rural America I know is an America that has become the forgotten America. We can't afford more of the same. We can't afford four more years of letting the American dream fade. We can't afford four more years of forgetting the middle class. We can't afford four more years of George Bush policies continued with John McCain for four more years. The time has come for a president who has lived the American dream who is on our side, a president who will cut our dependence on foreign oil and lead us into the new energy frontier, a president who will make us stronger and safer as Americans, a president who will make health care available to every American, a president who will make sure that no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, if you work hard, you too can live the American dream. That is a president that Barack Obama will be. That is why I am proudly seconding the nomination of Barack Obama as the next president of the United States of America.